Hi everybody and welcome to I Like Cruise Ships, the YouTube channel and welcome to a new video and today this is going to be a video about how to get to the beach in Ocho Rios from the cruise ship. Uh, it's going to be a very simple video, it's not going to be too long this one I hope once it's edited down but we're going to walk from the ship and we're going to basically walk to the closest beach which is the Margaritaville beach uh, in Ocho Rios, which is pretty much right by the ship now from the ship to get to the beach It's about a seven or eight minute walk. So it's very easy. It's very close Now I'm actually filming this a little bit out of sequence because it was too windy on the pier uh, So I've actually walked a little bit further ahead and stopped to get a little uh, get a drink actually and Continue the video uh, once we walk off the pier Okay, so come along with us and let's go to the local beach or the nearest beach in Ocho Rios if you don't have any plans today and you're just getting off the ship. Maybe you're not watching it today and you're on the ship. Maybe you're at home and you're going to be sad when you see the beach. Uh, but let's come along and check out the beach in Ocho Rios, Jamaica. Okay, let's go. Okay, so as we walk along the pier, we're going to actually see two beaches, if we can just notice them. So on the left-hand side is the public beach, which is off in the distance, you can just see right there. And the beach we're going to head to is the Margaritaville Beach, which is right here on the right-hand side. Now you can probably see that uh, yellow and blue inflatable tire, or kind of a, like a trampoline. That kind of signifies where the beach is right there. And literally from the gangway to the beach, it's about an eight minute walk. So we'll walk along and we'll get ourselves to the beach. And pretty simple here in Ocho Rios to get to the beach. This pier has uh, been remodeled, although it doesn't uh, look, you know, brand new, but they did some uh, resurfacing. They painted all of the, the uh, decking. Added some flowers. Uh, there's a little stop here for a photo of the ship. What we might do is we'll actually swing around and we'll take a look at the view from here. Now it's a little breezy today, so if you don't mind a little bit of breeze, we're good. Now let's just swing around right here. And you'll see where we are for the ship. Right there. That's the two, there's actually two gangways today. So we came off the back gangway, right at the beginning of the video. And then there's the forward gangway where most people are basically walking back even this early to get on the ship. So, the water is super clear here as well. Have a look at the rocks right there and then the water. And let's keep walking. So basically the first sort of point that you see here is the small terminal that they have or basically that's the security checkpoint getting back on the ship so it's uh if you do have an excursion you would simply just walk to the right here and then they've got all of the signs there to separate everybody and then we just walk around and pretty simple uh for now we've not got a uh, Noticed by any locals yet for uh, private tours. And pretty soon they're going to be right in our uh, in our grill, let's say. Uh, let's check out. There's a little small coffee shop here where you can actually stop. They do have free Wi-Fi, but it does mean a purchase of a drink. So now we'll just swing around here and have a look again at where we are. And there's the cruise ship right there. And then everybody's sort of still walking off here. I would say, you know, roughly about half of the people on the ship I'm on right now have a tour and half don't. So 
Really, it's a matter of either the planning something before you arrive or sort of winging it and then coming out to the taxis and figuring out what you want to do. Okay, so we're going to walk out now from here to the parking lot and then we're going to walk ourselves to the beach. We're not that far away. Now, there is actually a sign here that's got the prices to go to some of the excursions and they are awfully high, let me tell you. So maybe definitely sort of take a look ahead at some of the excursions you can get from the ship. Or if you're going to do it yourself, get ready for some big numbers. But uh, really make sure you've planned ahead of time what you're going to do so you don't uh, get basically savage for a price to get somewhere. So walking off, uh, you'll see here there's uh, some of the taxi operators. And then there's a few little souvenir shops right here now. The simplest way to walk is <laughs> right through the parking lot. So what we're going to do is we're just going to walk ourselves the quickest way to get to the beach, which is, for me, right through the middle of the parking lot. Now there is a footpath on the either side, but the whole idea here is how to get to the beach in Ocho Rios and how to get to Margaritaville Beach, which is super easy. Now there is still plenty of minibuses here. These sort of bigger uh, Toyota coasters are mostly all the excursion buses uh, where everyone's going on uh, private tours. And on this left hand side here then you'll see a lot of uh, smaller uh, private taxis where people have basically sort of arranged an activity and uh, off they go. Now there is quite a few uh, sort of small vendors right here inside the terminal. Somebody's waving. <laughs> uh, lots of, obviously we're in Jamaica, a lot of stuff that's Jamaican themed. I always notice on the, that night when we leave the pier and we sail away and we go back to work, everybody's uh, wearing their Jamaican outfits and sundresses and things like that. So now the only thing is, uh, again, you've got lots of wood souvenirs. If you watch the Laramana walk around, you'll have seen these same wooden. Oh, look at this! Nice. Yeah. How are these? These are very cool. That's it. Okay, so now this is the basically the main entrance and exit. Now we're going to have some music in the background, so it's going to be a little bit noisy. But basically the cars and buses come in and out through this gate and then uh, we're going to see the other side over here. Again, more souvenirs. Oh, let's watch out for this bus. And then this is the gate to get out to Ocho Rios properly. So this is actually the checkpoint where you'll show your ID and sale and sign card to get back on and basically to show it right there and off you go you're in the terminal basically um, now there is actually a bar right here on the right hand side called Oceans 11 and that's actually this is the nearest bar where you can actually drink and have some food and actually they have free Wi-Fi here as well uh, they give you a password once you purchase a drink so it's pretty straightforward now, this is the other place where normally you get absolutely inundated with people. Um, so this probably will be a little bit quieter now because we're holding the camera. So it's pretty straightforward. Just keep walking. Keep walking. Just come back up. Nice you, sir. Sir, how are you? Am I, am I on the phone? One moment, please. Let me tell you something about Jamaica. All right, we'll just keep walking. And basically... These are all uh, private operators that can't get in the cruise terminal. So a lot of them don't have an agreement with the cruise terminal to park inside and they have to have their buses and taxis outside. So they are still taxis that are basically sanctioned in Jamaica, but they don't have an agreement to get in to the port and park their cars. So they're, they're basically one step back from the taxi drivers that are on the pier. So here we are now, really very close to the beach. And this is called Island Village Shopping Complex. 
Island Village Shopping and Entertainment Center. And this is where the Margarita River Beach is. So we're gonna just turn right. So, so far we've not gone more than, uh, we've not gone more than, uh, oh. uh, we've not walked, sorry. Just got a bit distracted. I have not walked more than five minutes, I don't think. And here we are at the beach. Now, there is actually a little bit of an estuary here where the uh, tide comes in and out. And literally, we'll see the ship. Ooh, my hand is getting a little bit shaky now. And we'll see the beach. And this is Margaritaville Beach. That's what I call it. I'm sure it has another name for locals. And that's the ship right there. Have a look how close it is. And this is how close it is to get to the beach in Ocho Rios. So just keep walking. So again, these videos that I'm making are more informational videos. So they're not, I'm gonna say probably quite as fun. They're not as, uh, you know, highlights of my day kind of videos. It's an how to get to video. And this one simply is how to get to the beach. And you'll see quite a few people here now. A lot of people do choose this basically to come here and hang out and why not? I mean, look how calm it is. Look how flat it is. There's a trampoline out there. And this is the walk around to the beach. Now you'll see here there's a sign that says beach entrance. So quite simply, we walk around. And so this is actually the restaurant and bar Margaritaville. And they've got actually a pool here with a swim up bar. Let's not get distracted. And they have a water slide inside the uh, restaurant, which is super cool. There's some steps to go up and you're there. And this is the beach. No. <laughs> uh, and here we are walking to the beach. And this is it. The chairs and tables are right here. Literally, uh, it's all part of the facility. Well, facility of Margaritaville, let's say. And this is the nearest public beach. Now, you saw where we started. And here we are at the beach. And now I'm not gonna go in. I didn't bring my shorts today, so crazy of me. But that's all right. Everybody's allowed to have some fun. I mean, it's not a big place, by the way. I mean, really the public part of the beach. And then the... There's actually like a roped off area a little bit further over. But... That's the whole point. You're coming to the nearest beach. You don't have to walk too far. You don't have to have anything planned. And here we are. Okay, so I'm just gonna film the ending right here about how to get to the beach in Ocho Rios. And I'm gonna leave you with a little scene of the beach right behind me. We're in a little bit of shade now. So thanks for watching. I like cruise ships, the YouTube channel. And thanks for watching the video about how to get to the beach in Ocho Rios and how to get to Margaritaville Beach where we are right now. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed watching. If you aren't a subscriber, click the subscribe button. Also the notification bell if you want to hear the video, watch the videos first. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and post a comment. Maybe it's something a little bit different that I can do in the video or maybe you uh, noticed something that I didn't point out. So thanks for watching I Like Cruise Ships, the YouTube channel. Thanks everybody. Bye.